Namaste guys. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Vortex Tamper in SolidWorks. So, let's start. So, as you can see that I am in assembly mode. So, I am going to make all my parts in this assembly mode. Okay. So, click on insert components. Click on new part. Select the front plane. Press Ctrl plus 8 for normal screen to the view. So, let's draw a simple line that is called center line in my case. And let's draw the first thing that I'm going to draw is, is a covering. You can choose the diameter as per your requirement. Uh, I'm making it 500 mm. And this is 300. 150 50 50 uh, and click ok go to the features click on the wall wall space click on no so you can increase or decrease the thickness as per your requirement in my case i am going to reverse the direction so what will happen after reversing the direction if i press ctrl plus 8 you can see all the thickness is given this side if i click on reverse direction again it will be inside of it uh, okay if i click on here it will be outside the sketch okay so i'm choosing the outside one and the thickness will be 10 mm but you can change the thickness as per your requirement so click on here okay after that select the front plane click on sketch Draw a circle. Of 10 mm diameter. Or let's say 20 mm. 20 mm is fine. So click on features. Uh, let's make it 30 mm. Yeah, 30 mm is fine. So click on features. Click on extrude cut. Uh, click on through all. Click OK. After that, click on circular pattern, select this circle. How much pattern we want? Let's say 13. Click OK. Uh, now, select this face, click on sketch. Now, let's draw a circle. Before that, uh, click on here so that we can see. And let's draw this circle first. So the diameter of this one is 1060. Okay, 1060, not 1.6. And select this line, click on for construction, draw a circle here. Give the diameter as per your requirement. In my case, I'm giving it a value of 20. And Click on circular pattern, select the origin, how much instances you want and click on entities to pattern and which entity I want to pattern this one. So how much to move instances I want, let's say 20, click OK, go to the features, click on extrude cut, extrude cut through all, click OK. So you can see this is how it looks like. Let's make the view to the solid body. Uh, looks good to me. Now we have to make uh, some other things. Uh, just go upside and go above. I know, I know some people will say, hey man, that we do some features. Don't worry about it. Uh, we are going to let get that onwards. So select the front plane, press Ctrl plus 8. Press Ctrl plus 8 again so we can see you know this, this one. Now right click on it, click on sketch, press Ctrl plus 8 again and click on here, click on centric rectangle. Draw a centric rectangle like this and Press escape, select this circle, click on convert entities. After that, 
select this and give it a dimension as per your requirement in my case i am giving it 70 by 120 so this one will be going to be 35 and the distance from here to here will be 60 now what i will do as you can see it is far flange i will click on extrude but this is not the way i want so click on here click on offset so increase the distance click on reverse direction to increase the distance and click on up to surface select the surface and 515 is fine i guess click ok Um, select this face, click on sketch, draw two circles here, fifty, uh, give it a diameter, let's say ten, escape, select this line and this line, make it vertical, click on center line, draw a center line and i will going to mirror about it so select this mirror about this line click ok go here click on extrude cut extrude cut blind just increase it now what i will do i will go to my circular pattern right click on my circular pattern click on edit feature now here i will select this feature and this one click ok so you can see so with this a single pattern i got uh, more of this now click exit sketch <coughs> so select this one press f2 and give it a name let's say body i know it's a very bad naming but yeah it will work after that we have to create something called fins okay now uh, before that let's make a circular base here another so what i will do click on here click on new part select the top plane press ctrl plus 8 draw a circle here it's a 100 mm go to the features click on extrude now make sure that you choose mid plane okay and it is up to you how much big you want okay so in my case 100 mm is fine for me now what i will do i will go here select the top plane top plane of the part okay top plane click on sketch sorry i, I have a top plane of the sketch now i have to create holes here as well so what i can do Let's create hole of 15mm. 15mm hole is too big for this. So go here. Reduce it to 10mm. Uh, click on extrude cut. Through all both. Uh, not through all both. Click on uh, the line. click on offset I think this is fine click ok after that I will click on here click on circular pattern select this edge and the feature feature that i want to pattern it so select this one number of cut will be 13 click ok and now let's work on fin part so exit that is only component mode so how should i make the fins 
and you see this traffic light icon so this is called rebuild icon so click on rebuild so click on here click on new part select the let's see i want the top lane select the top lane press control plus 8 so and and i don't know whether you guys notice or not but here is some issue uh, these circles are not aligned with this one so i will face issues that don't work so what i can do before i work on this part exit the sketch mode edit assembly mode as you can see i can move this thing so that's a good thing so what i will do select this and select this make it concentric okay click ok now select this hole and this hole i only want to just to align them if one is aligned all other will all also will align with respect to each other so if i press ctrl a and go here mm -hmm. See, so you will see that they all are, you know, aligned. That's a good thing. Now I will go my this part, click on edit part, select the top plane, click on sketch. So I will first draw something called center line up to this. Not this point, let's make it to this here. Now select this circle, click on convert entities. Now, what I will do, I will draw two lines. A question is, what should be the angle of this? Uh, so, I know that I have 13, so select this. 360 divided by 13 27.69 and this one will be 27.69 divided by 2 looks good to me now click on ok select this circle click on convert entities after that select this circle click on offset uh, let's say 10 is fine click ok click on trim entities and one thing that i have to do is click on option entities again select this click on reverse direction uh, let's make it 20 mm um, let's make it 5 mm 5 mm is fine 5 mm and click ok click on trim entities or we don't need to use even trim what i can do is go to the features click on extrude select these faces ok and click on mid plane thickness will be less so let's say 10 mm click ok now i need to make something called supporters so there will be two supporters big supporter and small supporter let's see how to make it and exit that is component mode i'm not going uh, i'm going to just make pattern after making the parts i hope you understand the part or what i'm trying to say now select this press f2 and give it name blade or whatever you want to give it in your local language so click on here click on new part and select the right plate in my case press ctrl plus 8 so i will click on corner rectangle after that click on revolve wall space which line i want to revolve what i want to revolve this line click ok now what i will do i will select this top plane click on sketch and we'll draw this thing now let's give it some dimensions uh, 
why it is not picking this origin you cannot read this one more okay where what is the origin this origin is also here so let's pick it up uh, let's give it uh, 90 35 15 First some reason it is not picking up, I don't know why. Uh, origin 7.5 What are the features? Extrude Click OK you can make cut out of it if you want or let's just make it cut as you will say <laughs> I'm making full out of you select this and this one click here and extrude cut through all both, through all both okay so this will be the smaller one now I need bigger one for as well so what will I will do in that case mm. and I think that I need to increase this you know body height for some reason so let's see why I will do that uh, let's first make the part so click on insert components new part click on right plane press ctrl plus 8 One thing notice that I have clicked on no actual references. If you don't, uh, you will face a lot of issues. So make sure always do that. This is a common mistake done by the beginners. And now I also see that people come and ask me, hey man, how to do that, how to do this. So don't do that mistake, please, guys. Press Ctrl Z for a second. Mm. One ninety five. Then make it sixty, sixty one, and. This one will be 15. This one will basically actually in reality will be 14, uh, 14.99 something for tolerance purposes. But file solve works, I'm making it 15 as well. So click on evolve wall space. Not this one. Yeah, this one. Click OK. No access for evolution. Click OK. Select this face, click on sketch. Draw a center line. Fifteen. Okay, I want fifteen from head to here. Uh, fifteen, and this one will be ten. And you know what? Let's delete this one. And I will use something called mirror. Select this entity, mirror about this line, click OK, go to the features, click on extrude, click OK, and exit this. 
so as you can see it is not correctly made right now so i have to do all these things as well so let's do the mating because that one what's it will be complex if i try to do that so how can i do that so first thing that i have to do is uh, select this phase and this phase click ok this phase and this phase click ok select this phase and this phase click ok now how can i make it to the center of it so this will be a little bit challenging part so what i will do i will select this plane and let's see what is so this one and go to the mates go to the assembly click ok so you can see in that I have placed in correct place now you can see it is currently moving up and down and, and, and I don't want it in reality so I will go to the body click on top plane mate and top plane, uh, top plane of the assembly click ok one more thing that after that I will do right click on it click on fix and you can see that it is moving forward backward that I also don't want it so what I will do select this face and this face make it tangent but it has some drawback okay what is this I can't rotate it uh, the rotation is not happening because if I select this part and remember this mate so this mate is you know stopping it from uh, rotating so what I can do right click on it click on delete for now I have a better idea right now so I will go to its right plane click on sketch click on center line draw the center line like this and escape now what I will do okay oh my bad I actually made it in assembly mode actually to make this sketch on here so click on right components right plane click on sketch just to here now what I will do acceleration component mode select this line and now I will select the right plane of it click ok so you can see it can rotate right now let's make some more changes select this face and this face this face Okay, so my bad. I think it's not working the way I want. Uh, right click, delete. Let me think for a second. How can I, you know? So I can control with it, okay, that's a good thing. So here is a better idea. Exit preview. Select this face and this face. Make it parallel. Select this face and this face. Click on distance. And 400 ml 495 495 is fine for me click ok so by rotating this i can you know rotate the control the moment of it
and notice one thing that this one is not centrally aligned so this is issue again so what i will do i will select this one i click and delete i will choose another method called mate advance width so select this i can't able to select the edge i guess select this face and this face and select this face and this face yeah this one is working click ok in engineering you have to always find you know different ways to solve a problem as you can see i face a problem and then find a solution after taking some taking some time now to use it later on after onwards i need to increase its you know length because i have to make some more parts and without that i can't able to use it or i can i guess but let's see whether it is work or not now let me try let's give the part naming because that one was a little face problem so big supporter this is small blade supporter so small blade supporter like you guys for me <sighs> now click on here click on your part select the front plane press control plus 8 press control plus 8 again Thirty. More to the features uh, before that i forgot to give dimensioning and for those some people i see on internet asking me hey man give me the dimensions so guys i will be frank i don't know any dimension of it i just make it you know out of imaginary i just saw some mechanism on internet i just after that i will just try to make it on my own so i don't even know a little bit about its dimensions so sorry for that because i don't know it so how can i share it Click OK. If there is some component mode, select the part, move it to here. Go to the mates, select this face and this face. Make sure that you click on log rotation. So, log rotation basically means if I rotate it, you can see this will also rotate. Select this face and this face. I uh, notice that it is, you know, attaching with it. So what I will do? Um, select the big part. Click on Add Components. Right click on Sketch. Let's make it 80 mm. Click on Exit the Sketch Mode. So now it's a good thing. Now I will go to this part, click on here, click on add assembly, select this right plane, click on sketch.
फिफ्टीन एम एम फोर्टी एम एम फाइव एम एम Trim this line. Okay, instead of fifteen, let's make it ten mm. Make it three mm. Go to the features. Click on the whole boss space. Select this line. Uncheck the thickness feature. Click OK. Now select this part. Click on here. Click on linear pattern. It is asking for the feature to be pattern. So select this. Uh, clear selection. So I want along this edge. I want only two. So increase the distance as per requirement. In my case, I think it is fine. Click OK. Exit Excel component mode. Now, what I will do is uh, circle pattern, select this components to be pattern, select this one, this one, this one, this one. How much? 13. Click OK. So if I rotate this one, you can see all of them are rotating, and that's a good good thing. Now I want something in between them. So how can I do that? So before I move forward, I will use something called 3D sketching. So let's try to understand why. So close to the sketch, click on 3D sketch. So basically I want the distance between these two circles. So how can I get 3D sketch is the best way. So click on center line. And click on here, click on these two. Very necessary. Just get the tip of it, that is that will also do the trick. So I think it's 295. Or what I can do, I have a better way to uh, to find out. So I have to create two more, uh, not two parts, <laughs> many more. So let's see how to approach this one. So click on here, click on new part. So where I'm going to make it? Let's say I'm going to make it front plane. Press Ctrl plus eight. Uh, for the sake of simplicity, I am going to select all parts and hide them. You know it's consuming a lot of my computer space. I doubt that it will, my computer will burn down. So by pressing shift all these six parts, right click and hide components. Click on exit components, add the components. Why are these parts are showing? Okay, right click. Suppress feature now. Now that's what I want. Right click, uh, click on this part, click on disable component. Uh, select the front plane, click on sketch. So, first thing that I will make is a cylinder. Uh, let's see how I will approach it. Mm, let me think about it. How should I approach? Mm, okay, I think this that is the way I should approach it. So, 
so make it 150 10 and draw a circle of diameter 20 mm Let's make it 5 here, 0, 0, 0. let's draw a circle here as well and make it 10 mm, okay, and Click on trim entities, trim this line. Oh, control Z, control Z, and make it up to here. Trim the entities, trim this line as well. That's a very important one. Uh, go to revolve boss base. I guess my, my laptop is burning and check the thickness feature click ok uh, one mistake that I have done is I forgot to provide the thickness of it so click on here select this Select this line, make it construction. Sorry for the unwanted notes. If you are heading, I can't do anything for that. Click OK. As we just get more. Select the front plane. Center. Five. Click OK. Mirror entities. Mirror about this one through all both exit it. Now I've made one one and now I need another one. So what I can do is go to this sketch before I do it. Basically, I'm just copying the sketch. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to, you know, destroy it. I'm just copying the sketch for the sake of simplicity. So what I will do, I will select this part again. Click on edit components. Go to the sketch. Press Ctrl A, press Ctrl C to copy it and exit the disassembly component mode. After that, I will click on here. Click on new part again. Select the front plane and press Ctrl V to paste the sketch. But here I will do the trick, something, no dark sorcery, select this line and this line, make it concentric, oh, trim entities. Evolve about this line
why it is not cut this side? I just roll both. Something is wrong. Uh, you know, you have to find, find a way the other way around uh, by pressing shift, right click on this. Uh, before I do that, just assemble these two parts so I don't face any kind of issues that are not. So, select this axis and this axis, click on here so that it reverse the direction. Click OK and move this part aside. So by pressing shift select all this uh, by pressing shift select all the part click on show. Similarly right click on local component click on show and select this part now what I will do basically I will click on mate select this face and this face Similarly, I will select this face and this face. Select this face and this face. Make it parallel. Some reason it is not doing. Cancel this. Uh, I think this is the last part. Okay, this one is the part. So select this part from here. So what we can do guys here It is not rotating uh, So I figure out a one more method So what I will do Select this one Click on add components uh, Select this part And select its right plane Click on sketch Click on point so just draw the point at the center of it similarly for here now uh, select this and this round curve click on concentric just to be make sure that it is at the center of it select this and by pressing it like this click on concentric exit it now what i will do i will do repeat the same steps here uh, it will help uh, you know in assembly mode so for the sake of simplicity else it will you know take a lot of time and i will delete some mates so i will simply draw a point any any place random for example i said i draw this point here so i will select this point and select this curve click on concentric you can see it automatically go there and that is basically what i want and similarly i will do for this part for static assembly component mode Select this part, click on add components and just to make sure that, that I am exactly at the center of it. Okay, this part is not at the center of it, so that is the issue. So what I will do, uh, click on plane, plane, select this plane, delete and this face. So you can see a plane coming inside of it. Select uh, select this plane, click on sketch. Press control, set. Zoom out, zoom in. But concentrate. And exit some component mode. So, first thing that I will do is I will delete the mate that I have done with them. You see this concentric mate. So right click and delete just to hold. Now go to the mates. Select this point. 
end this point click ok select this point and this point click ok select this face and this face make it parallel why it is not working it should be working right now but i don't know why it's not working press ctrl z Notice something, these points are not correctly aligned. I don't know why. Now you can see they are correctly worked. Now, what I will do by uh, let's go here. By pressing control, try this part. By pressing control, try this part as well. Make it concentric again. Click OK. Uh, where is the center of origin of it? Click this point and this point where is the other one oh there it is assembly mates You can see that it is not correctly placed, but if I click on rebuild, it's it will be automatically there. So if I do the animation, it will be correctly aligned. So let's try to do the animation part before that. You know, let's apply circular components again. Let's select the axis. Components should be pattern. Thirteen, one less, twelve. Pause this. Click OK. Click on Rebuild icon. OK, they are not in the correct place. No,
Why it is not working? If that doesn't work, so we have to do manually and it will be very time for something, not going to lie. And manual work, I hate that. Synchronized works. Let's see if there are any options to help us. Reward icon. Hmm. This is not working. Hmm. So I guess I have to do manually. So that will take a lot of time. So let's me really think for a second. Let's maybe you know there might be other way. Okay, I think the issue is not there. Uh, I think the issue is that that we have less number of you know. Uh, this part so it must be symmetric so to work this circular pattern they must they must never be odd number they must be, these days must not be odd number they must be even numbers so I have to go back and do a lot of changes so sorry for that so first I will go here I will click on circular pattern uh, not the circular pattern just click on circular pattern uh, yeah circular pattern Select this part, click on here, circular pattern, edit feature, instead of 13, just make it 14, click OK. Okay, now exit the series component mode. Uh, now select the second part, same goes for here, edit feature, make it 14 as well, click OK. After that, first of all, blade. So in case of blade, uh, right click on sketch, click on edit sketch, sorry first select this blade, click on edit components, right click on sketch, click on edit sketch, so 360 divided by 14, it will be 25.71, 25.71 divided by 2, press control Z. 25.71 divided by 2 that will be uh, 28.62 exit the assembly component mode now click on smaller uh, smaller and you know bigger spot are not the issue what I have to do is I will just click on local pattern click on feature Instead of 13, make it 14. Click OK. And now, if I try to do mirror to circular pattern, sorry, select this clear section. Select this face. I am a human, so yeah, I will do mistakes. So search for that. You can see now it's totally fine. Click OK. So if I try to, if I click on rebuild, you can see it's at the correct place. Uh, one issue is that at these plates. Or 
these blades you know go too deep in, uh, too deep inside so how i can resolve this so click on blade press control plus 8 or let's see is it's a mate issue i think it says sketch issue so click on blade pattern right click on sketch sketch looks fine to me press control plus hit so why it is interfering with it or oh, the issue is here mm, it's concentric this one Alright, uh, right click on sketch. Let's make it 10 mm. Click OK. Uh, sketch. Let's make it 20 mm. now you can see it's working now some people say hey man that this is thing is not working uh don't worry about that and also there's issues with this one so let's see how to resolve this one i think it's big supporter click on here mates concentric fine um, okay. So, right click sketch delete clear selection select this face and this face uh, I will go down here let's hide the pattern for a second suppress it uh, I think you guys all then see the issue and that thing must be there not here so what i will do right now is add a feature click ok now i will go down there right click and suppress this now you see it look good Okay, one more issue is that it is moving too far. Select this face and this face. Make it concentric. Let's see what kind of issues we are getting. Okay, that's a very big pass control Z. It's a very bad issue. Select this and click on edit feature. Uh, exit this one because I want to, you know, use this feature on the part, not on this local circular pattern. So select this part. Click on it, feature. Uh, features, reference, plane. Select this face. 
I just want a plain tangent to it. Is there any plain tangent to it created? Yeah, it's a flip offset. A plane created, but it's a positive direction, not I want. Mm, what I can do, what I can do, select this plane, click on sketch, draw the center line. Exit this sketch mode. I want basically the front plane of it. So exit this sketch mode. Basically, I want exactly in the middle of it. Else, it will not work. What I was thinking. Point. This one. Select the side components. Sketch and draw a point at the center of it as there is some component mode. So, what I will do point two on blade, as you can see, is point two on blade. So, that's basically what I want. And select this one, click on concentric, click OK. And exit this. Click on rebuild icons so that we can see. There yeah, looks to me. And now, right click. Why it is fully defined right now? I think I somehow accidentally fixed the whole blade. Let's see. Coincide with what? Two face. Okay, this face is coincide with this face. Not issue. This one is fine. And. This one is fine as well. Let's see where is the issue. Mm. Uh, delete this part. Uh, components, uh, sorry, made. Select this face. On advance, click on width with clear selection. Select this face. This face. Select this face. And this face. Click OK. Selected component is defined. Why? And parallel rotation. Let me think why is you know creating the issue. 
for much more reasons. Circular bit will not provide this one will not do any issue. This one that is done. My hands are cold now. Split bar, support in so how should I put some hmm. go to the mids right click this part click on hide select this point And this line, we're not working that way. So the issue is that uh, the concentric part with this one, so it is not totally rotating about this one. So that is the reason I'm getting the shoe. So if I click on and suppress this, uh, you can see I am able to rotate how. If I add this one, so is this one is in the shoe. Five seconds was not working, right? But now it is working fully. Let's see what will happen. It won't be like that. So I'll go to the motion study, click on here, and select this face distance thirty. 30 fps click ok click calculate As you can see, the animations now look quite good. So after facing all these issues, now we are finally able to <laughs> make this. Now let's add some coloring before I move forward and add one more part. Don't worry, that part will not go into any issue. I know it's a time consuming thing, but you know, you learn a lot. I assure you that you guys learn a lot of things why certain mistakes are there and how to resolve it. So I hope it's totally worth for every second you have spent here on this tutorial click on rebuild just tell me i'm not doing on list assembly mode not on the component mode but where are the hell are my sketches okay press control 8 press control 8 again exit this part let's delete this part part now Okay, I saw this part. So, 
I will click the front pane, press Ctrl plus A. You can see the sketch right now. That's basically what I want to see. Uh, so right click on sketch and let's click on mirror about this one doesn't contain you know any mates that will affect the mechanism so don't worry about that Like this line by pressing control as you as you can see these two are only uh, tangent mate so i don't have to do anything select these two add tangent mate select this line and this line make it tangent mate here as well now what i will do i will click on mirror entities what i want to make this line circle mirror about what this line Click OK. Go to the extrude. Click OK. Select this face. Click on sketch. OK. There is a shoe you can see down there. So first exit this sketch mode. Uh, right click. Counters. Select this. And select the center. Click OK. Now select this, click on sketch. That's it, it's not no more. <laughs> and this time is fourteen. Let's hide all the necessary things and let's try to see the animation again. It will take some time, you know, it's quite heavy for my PC, this assembly. <laughs> my PC is literally crying out loud now. Now let's add some coloring to it. Oh, okay, one more thing that never do cluttering in animation mode, never do that unless you have very good you know, idea what are you doing. Black like my future. Appearances matter um. I think not everybody. So that's for all guys. I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, thank you and Namaste.